In only a few short years, a recent new transportation criterion will revolutionize not almost the entire transportation business, but all of the nation. Do you want to know about this revolution? This is a hyperloop by the one and only innovative billionaire Elon Musk. Keep watching this video till the end to know about this technology and subscribe for more uploads. Here we begin. So let's first start with what a hyperloop is. Do you have any idea about it? Well, the hyperloop is a high-speed network that is energy efficient and without immediate emissions. Let me tell you that it will perform autonomously and utilize the most cutting-edge technology that reduces the distances by an extraordinary amount to pertain to towns and logistical headquarters in a matter of moments. Who enacted this brilliant idea? Have any guesses about it? Back in 2013 when Elon Musk, as you all know that he is the founder of SpaceX and Tesla, introduced the Hyperloop idea into the mainstream as an automobile based on floating pods that could remain at speeds of 1,200 km per hour, which is nearly the speed of sound. It levitates at low pressure in a system of steel tubes that could be positioned underground or above ground on pillars. When Musk declared it, he circulated the content and technology of his undertaking. Still, he feared that he felt it was an ambition that is open to participation by anyone enthusiastic about its growth. As a finding, there are currently numerous endeavors that are ongoing around the world. These endeavors are American projects Virgin Hyperloop 1, Hard Hyperloop and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies or Hyperloop TT, founded in the Netherlands, the Transport in Canada, and the Spanish undertaking Zeleros, which was established by a squad of students at the Universitat Politecnica de Valencia. They furthermore won the competition held by the billionaire with the best Hyperloop prototype layout. Let's hear what Zilaros co-founder and CMO talked about. The developers are currently in the scale technology validation phase. After these trials, which will take place over the next two to three years, sufficient knowledge will be compiled on the latest advances to select the most scalable and sustainable technologies and conduct trials on a real scale. He believes that we will be able to see the first improvements after 2027. But he also said, technological progress, the investments received, and institutional and regulatory support will accelerate these processes. System Integration Let's now talk about system integration. You already know that undertaking such a creative project compels several technologies to be enforced and incorporated efficiently and safely. As Vicen reported, Hyperloop creates by using technological developments from other enterprises, just like the railroad sector, as it is guided transport, aviation, as it should regulate at speeds and pressures more identical to what aircraft experience, and the usage of magnetic networks for levitation and propulsion which gives rise to it identical to maglev trains that are present and undertaking around the world. Furthermore, you will find that it uses automated equipment to pertain to the several pods with a real-time control system. Plus, the power utilized means that energy depository, production and distribution are fundamental topics. What do you think about its infrastructure? Well, let's discuss that too. In terms of infrastructure, there will be a network to eliminate air and retain pressure at optimal levels. It's crucial to keep in mind the control and communication mechanisms utilized to assume where pods are at all times and will be competent to respond accurately in an incident. Revolution in Transportation So definitely, this development will bring a revolution. This is what Musk wanted, isn't it? All this improvement will provoke an uprising in the transportation of freight and passengers in the future. This is certainly because Hyperloop will facilitate sustainable transportation, with the capacity of lessening greenhouse gases by around 30 million tons in Europe alone. In expansion, it will be active in terms of time for distances between 500 and 1,500 kilometers, relating to large operating centers in a matter of minutes. This will direct to a European Hyperloop system that could protect around 75 million hours with an economic effect of nearly 1.6 trillion euros. What further will increase? Do you have any idea about it? Let's talk about it. Professional possibilities will rise as the connections between regions could authorize workers to reside in one nation and work in another. It will be like an international subway system. Juan Vicente conceded. 
to enhance logistical processes that will increase connectivity and strengthen nations and industrial systems. Railroads So the very first that it will improve is the railroads. But then if we look at the speed, we will find that it will enhance the competitiveness of land transportation networks for distances at which railroads cannot be active. It can therefore come to be a portion of consortiums of profitable land routes where they recently could not explain the construction. The second is the infrastructure. This region will be competent to broaden its chains of business. A recent necessity for hyperloop stations and infrastructure, which will compel many projects, will directly be expanded to the network of highways, railroad systems, and aviation. And the last is aviation. Suppose the networks that make use of aviation technology with identical pressures are prosperous. In that case, they can profit from lessening their emissions from the greatly inefficient roads without reducing their output capacity. So what are the challenges ahead? Despite the obvious advantages that the Hyperloop launch can generate, the programs must withstand various challenges to be effectively enforced in the looming years. First, a regulatory mechanism, as there is an aviation or the railroad area must be interpreted. However, there has been a group working on this issue since 2018, in collaboration with the Hyperloop developers and European regulatory agencies, that is now looking into how to make progress in this regard. Juan Vesan clarified optimistically. He further stated that it is very positive as it accelerates regulation processes in parallel with technological validation. Another substantial challenge is associated with the security of this method of transportation, which has dangers that differ depending on the recommendation and more precisely, the pressure level at which the network employs. You must be confused right now, isn't it? Let's clear it out for you by taking an instance. Reaction times are tremendous at pressure levels that are identical to aviation's levels and at a vacuum level of pressure. Vassan clarified that all the mechanisms are being constructed with the highest criteria apparent and system redundancy to assure they are fail-proof. This means supporting several systems that can operate in any emergency scenario, keeping freight and passengers safe at all times, he substantiated. So you will find that Musk's impression would strive with air travel but add an amount of the expenditure by giving tickets for the trip at roughly $20 for a one-way journey. Do you know about its benefits? The probable advantages of the Hyperloop are that it is quick, inexpensive, and environmentally friendly. Musk explains the pods themselves will be safe and comfortable, touring one at a time in space 23 miles which is for 7 kilometers apart. Each one will be suited to many emergency braking networks. Let me tell you that Musk's corporations are not evolving the technology correlated with Hyperloop independently. Rather, he has established distinct industrial coalitions to transmit systems and paths across the world, and annual tournaments involving international student squads since 2015 to construct and create the best high-speed pod. For example, Hyperloop One is in cooperation with Richard Branson, which operated its competitive tenders to scheme Hyperloop highways in Canada, Mexico, India, and the UK. Its US paths comprise Chicago to Pittsburgh and Cheyenne via Denver to Pueblo in Colorado. Is money pulling its development? In terms of funding, presently, more than 300 million euros have been appointed intimately for Hyperloop improvement. Furthermore, you will find that many nations have declared openly that viability calculations will be administered. The European Commission has furthermore reserved the first assistance package, and all the thanks go to the public-private initiative Shift to Rail, to specify energies and chances with the railroad division. The economic facet does not appear to be a barrier, as the financial assistance from corporations and public organizations will rise markedly in the looming years. Allied market research foresees that the market in 2022 around Hyperloop programs will shift some $1.35 billion attaining $6 billion by 2026. So that's all for today. What do you think about this amazing future transport technology? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon to get more uploads like this. Until we meet again, take care.